Hey, good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. Pray you're ready for the gift of another wonderful day. In Joshua 24, 15, the Bible says, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, then choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. See, everyone has a story and every story is different. For me, I grew up in a family that believed in God. They believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God sent to give us eternal life. So I guess it was a natural progression for me to accept that as well. But you see, I have never been one to believe anything just because other people believe it. I have to figure things out for myself and determine what's right for me. So at the age of 12 years old, I was sitting in a church with my parents close to the back. I heard Reverend Clarence Stewart give a message on salvation through Jesus. And I was compelled to respond to that message and ask Jesus to be the Savior to me that I had seen him be to others in my family. I've never doubted that. I gave my soul to Jesus Christ that day, of that I'm sure. And he did become my Savior. But as I grew toward adulthood, I always felt that something was missing. There had to be more to being a Christian than what I was experiencing. Then one day I picked up the Bible and I started reading it with the intentions of finding more. It was then that I really began to see myself within the pages of that book. Everything that people that the, that the people of the Bible went through seemed to be the same things I was going through. There was just as much about the flaws of people as there was about the faith that we are supposed to have. I found myself digging deeper in order to find more of me within those pages. And the miraculous thing was that everywhere I found the flaws in myself, I found the grace of God through His Son, Jesus Christ. The words of God came alive for me, and because of that, it has truly transformed my life. It is impossible for anyone to understand that, or even believe that, until you start by letting your guard down and simply trusting Jesus Christ as your gift of grace. Once you do that, And I promise you the veil will fall and you will begin to see everything that I just described to you more clearly. I do not believe in God simply because it is what others do. And I am not a follow. I am not one who follows the leader. I'm just not that kind of person. But I will follow Jesus. Wherever he leads me, I'll follow. Because I know he's real. And I know he's relevant in my life. So what's your story? Is something holding you back from just trusting Jesus for eternity? Have you been burned or turned off by religion? See, I never wanted to be religious as the world has defined it. But what I found is a relationship with Jesus. An ever-present help in times of my trouble. Will you search your heart today? Will you talk to God and ask Him to reveal Himself to you like He never has before? This is my story. The story of a man who went looking for himself and found a wonderful friend in Jesus. I speak a blessing over you today that you will find that peace. That you will stop trying to figure it out and just trust that God's word is true. Choose you this day who you will serve. And my prayer is that you'll serve the Lord. You be safe. You be strong. You be blessed. Be a person today that can say, I'm ready to tell my story because I found myself 
when I went looking for Jesus. Pray you have a great day. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. <laughs>